guys welcome back to my channel my name is Cory if you guys are new here and in today's video I am going to be reviewing with you guys the ColourPop and Rudolph eyeshadow palette I did not purchase the whole collection because I did not want the whole collection it honestly just would have gone to waste because it was too much stuff in it but if you guys want to know how I got this gorgeous holiday look and, and if you want to know my thoughts on this eyeshadow palette just keep watching Okay guys, I'm actually only going to do the eyes on camera obviously for this collection. I just thought it was super cute, but oops, I did not mean to rip the box. The box is so adorable, I just accidentally ripped it. And it has shade names on the back of the box and on the back of the eyeshadow palette. It's really adorable with a photo of Rudolph. And I will swatch all the shades on my arm. I've already primed my eyelids with my Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime Eyeshadow Primer in shade 1. And then for my brows, I used the Benefit Browsing Brow Kit, which I've really been into lately. I'm going to take the shade Eat Eat, and I'm going to use that as like a transition shade. And I'm just taking it in like windshield wiper motions and just going back and forth. And I'm placing that kind of at the top of my eye. I'm going to go in with this shade right here called Little Buck and I'm going to place that right underneath my transition shade. Oh, that's a really pretty neutral brown. Very pigmented. I'm doing the same thing, just applying it in windshield wiper motions. Next, I'm going to go into the shade Full Power, which is like this deep red, and I want to place that in my crease area. That's actually really pretty. This one is a little bit more powdery than the other ones, but it's like not anything ridiculous or anything like that. It's just something to note. I would be really careful if you are like the type of person who does your face makeup before you do your eye makeup. I just never do that. So I'm really liking these two shades right here, this red and then this one right here. I don't know which one I want to use. This is what they look like. They're both really pretty. 
I think I'm going to use both because they're just really pretty. Taking my Juvia's Place Eye Primer, I'm going to shake it up. And then I'm going to actually, this sheet came with the ColourPop eyeshadow palette. I'm just going to put a little bit of this primer on here and just cut my crease with that. You only need like a little dot, like a lot of this squirts out, plus a little bit goes a long way, like a really long way. So I like the mirror in here too. It's This palette is super cute. I guess I could have used a makeup wipe, but... To get rid of some of this. You have to be really careful doing like cutting your crease with still leaving eyeshadow right there. I do it all the time because I honestly just forget to wipe the shadow away. But you have to know how to blend out that primer if you're going to do it that way. Typically, I do recommend either going in with a Q-tip a q -tip and some makeup remover or micellar water or just taking a makeup wipe and, you know, wiping the shadow away. But I obviously did not do that, so... Now I could literally wear this as an eyeshadow look, but it's primer, so that would be weird. So I'm not going to do that. I don't know why cutting my crease took me so long that time, but I'm going to go into these shimmer shades. Oh, they I just didn't realize they have the shade names on the front as well, so I do love that. Go into the shade Up, Up, and Away, and I'm going to place that on the first half of my lid. I've been loving that little trick and this is what it looks like super pigmented i did spritz my oh you know what i want to do actually before i actually go into that i'm going to put some glitter glue on my eye i'm going to use this anastasia glitter glue and i'm going to place that exactly where i cut my crease i just feel like it makes my shimmers pop a lot better just lost power Lord have mercy. I'm going to wait for my eyes to dry a little bit before I go into the next, uh, before I put the shimmer shade on my lids. I'm going to go into the shade Up, Up, and Away, which is right here. And it just looks like this. It picked up a lot on my brush. Ooh, that's a pretty color. I'm going to use the other side of my brush and I'm going to go into the shade Handsome Nose, which is that red shade in the center right there. I'm going to place that on the other half of my lid. So next I'm going to go back into the shade Full Power, but I'm going to take like this little thin Morphe brush. This is an M321 brush, and I'm going to use it to kind of like deepen up my crease area. And I'm not pressing in, I'm like literally tapping the shade and just kind of deepening up my crease. <laughs> 
And then I'm going to go into the shade Ready Santa right here. And I'm going to do the same thing. Tap into it and just kind of go into the crease. Again, just to keep it super deep. Okay, so this is what my eyes are looking like so far. I am actually going to finish up the rest of my face makeup, put on my lashes off camera, and then I'm going to come back to do the under eye makeup, and then we will talk about the eyeshadow palette. Okay, guys, so all of the makeup I use on my face, which actually came out really nicely, I will write down below in the description box. And then I'm going to go in with my under eye eyeshadow, and I am going to take the shade Ready Santa and I'm going to place that on my lower lash line. And I'm just taking this really skinny brush. This is from the NAS and BH Cosmetics collab. Oh my goodness. Do any of you guys get those like spam wrist calls? I feel like I get them like multiple times a day and it is so annoying. Anyway, I'm taking Ready Santa, placing it on my lower lash line. And I love this brush for the lower lash line. This would also be a good brush to kind of like clean up your brows. But for cleaning up my brows, I prefer like an angled skinny brush. This one is not angled, so I feel like this one is just much better for the lower lash line. But honestly, these brushes aren't even available anymore, so I don't even know why I just told you that. I'm so ready for Christmas. Did you guys have a great Thanksgiving? I had such a good Thanksgiving, and I'm sorry I did not post on Thanksgiving. I got like really sick the day before Thanksgiving. Um, I didn't even go visit my family on Thanksgiving because I just wasn't feeling well. So I actually spent the day with my husband and my son and we had such a good time with just the three of us. And honestly, I think it worked out for the best because this is Thanksgiving was actually the last holiday that it will be just the three of us. You guys know I'm due Christmas Day. More than likely, my baby will be here before Christmas, um, but I know my doctor will not let me go past my due date. So, that was our last holiday alone. And then I'm going to take the shade Full Power, and I'm going to place that right underneath where I just placed Ready Santa. And I actually really like this shade. Great, I have fallout. I got some fallout from that shade. I'm a little more gentle, let's see. Now should I do black or nude eyeliner? This is my brush I use for my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. I'm gonna sweep that away. Okay, that worked out perfectly actually. Perfect. Okay, so it didn't smear, but just be careful with that shade because it's powder. I'm gonna take this Tarte Fake Awake Eyeliner and I'm gonna place that in my waterline. And then I'm going to put some mascara on my lower lash line. This is the Rare Beauty Mascara. For my lip combo, I did not purchase. Uh, first of all, I'll get into that. But for my lip combo today, I'm actually going to go into the Milani Understatement Lip Liner in the shade Rich Cocoa. I have actually really been reaching for this lip liner lately. Like... I really like the shade of it. I love the fact that it's retractable, so I like carrying it with me a little bit better than pencils I have to sharpen. Do 
you guys, I don't know. Do I want to use this or this? I'm actually going to go in with the Milani Ludacris Matte Lip Crayon in the shade 120. Can't even. This is from the Juicy Jazz Rising Star Kit. I just feel like it's such a cute nude lip combo. And then I'm going to take this NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie. And I'm going to top my lips off with that. I feel like this is so hard to get gloss out of. I feel like the old vials were not like that. Alright guys, this is the final and completed look. What do you guys think? First of all, ignore the gel in my hair. I'm going to wipe it out later. Just don't feel like doing it right now, so I don't need the comments down below in the comment section. But thank you anyway. Anyway, what do you guys think about this look? I actually really like this eyeshadow palette. I am not the biggest fan of ColourPop. Honestly, I just feel so overwhelmed by ColourPop. I feel like they have way too many collections and I just feel like how many times can you redo a color story so I really don't pay them much mind I also feel like with the amount of collections they do it all like it cheapens the brand like not even in like a money type of way it just makes me like not intrigued because I just feel like it's like way too much but also it's like when they do collections it's like these huge elaborate collections it's not like just like a lipstick or like an eyeshadow palette it literally is like a lipstick eyeshadow like lipsticks eyeshadow like it'll be like one eyeshadow palette 10 lipsticks five single eyeshadows eyeshadow sticks 6,000 blushes like it's just like way too much so I feel like it's very wasteful you know what I'm saying especially for all of us makeup lovers a lot of us buy a lot of makeup and even though we use it we can't use everything every single day so it ends up just sitting and then we end up decluttering it it just becomes like a lot of waste it's very wasteful so for that reason like I don't really get a lot of color pop but when I saw this collection I was actually really intrigued First of all, the packaging is really cute, but the color story I feel like was perfect for the holiday season. I mean, if you really look at this eyeshadow palette, if you cover up the green and like the red, this in my opinion is like a neutral palette. I would say warm neutral, but it's to me it's a little bit more on the neutral side, but there are some cool shades in here. Like, I feel like this is a very wearable eyeshadow palette. The colors aren't crazy but they're still very Christmas-like. Literally, you get a red and a green, which I feel like you don't get red eyeshadows very often, but I just feel like I could actually use this every day. I could literally see myself using this throughout the year. It, it's ColourPop. It's super affordable. Again, I didn't get the entire collection. I did think about it, but then I was like, no, because it came with a highlighter, which I have so many highlighters that I'm not getting through, number one. The lipsticks are colors that I already own. Reds and nudes are not something that I need. I have my staple reds and then I have way too many nudes I'm not even getting through. And then there were some other things that I know just would have gone to waste like a little headband. I don't really wear stuff like that so I wasn't really interested in that. But I was really interested in the eyeshadow palette. So there are definitely discount codes. Colourpop is already really affordable but I know like there are other YouTubers who have discount codes that you can use. I really like this eyeshadow palette. I Like I said, I just think it's super cute. I think it's easy to work with. And I definitely think it's very wearable. And not just for holiday season, but like for throughout the year. I definitely recommend this palette. But I literally, I had to review this palette. It's adorable. And it's so cute. But I literally can literally see myself using this every day. So I'm really excited about this. Especially because I feel like the quality is good. And that's one thing I've never really had to worry about from the ColourPop purchases I've made I've never really had an issue with their quality like they do have good quality if you guys haven't seen this collection I would definitely grab this one I'm not joking this is super cute this is really adorable plus you guys know I'm a sucker for holiday collections and holiday packaging and stuff like that I love Christmas it's my favorite holiday of course it's going to be even more of my favorite holiday because I'm getting ready to give birth to a holiday baby 
but yeah i love this collection and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys enjoyed this look i probably will be doing some more looks with this eyeshadow palette because like i said i'm probably going to leave it up here on my desk for my everyday makeup just because the tones in here are perfect for the season we're in and they're pretty neutral very wearable colors so Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel before you leave. And I will see you all very soon in my next one. Bye.